Hi everybody. I wanted to make a special video for the social studies project this week because I always, we do one pagers a lot in class uh, almost every other week, but I always have an example there for you to follow. And I know that we're not in class, so you don't have that example to go up to the board and look at. So I wanted to make you a video and kind of guide you through it. Uh, before we get started, here's Christian. He wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's doing his work as well. Uh, so for your social studies one pager, I gave you a step-by-step -step list of how to do it. And in those steps, I did include some links that can help you get the information you need. I even put an example of a one pager on there and an example of the Texas flag in case you needed it. But let's go over my one pager so that you guys have a really good idea of how to do it. So here's my one pager, I'm gonna go really slow. I know it's backwards, but I know you can still see it. And I did mine in dark, dark colors so you could see everything on the video. So it says, step number one, draw a border. Now you all know how to draw a border because we do it so much in class. Boom, 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 boom. Step number two, write the names of Texas cities in the border. So you're gonna write all the names of any Texas city, big or small, that you know in the border. I did include a word search for this Thursday about Texas cities. So the word search that you have, you can actually use that if you don't know the names of a lot of Texas cities. You can use the words from that word search and you can put those Texas cities in your border. Okay, um, step number three, you add a title. My title is Texas, but I gave you some title ideas you can use or you can come up with your own. I love Texas, Texas rocks, Texas facts, anything like that, but your title has to be a little bit bigger and bolder than all the other words on your page. Step number four, draw the Texas flag. Now, Ms. Fryson made a little mistake. The red is supposed to go at the bottom, but that's okay. Um, you have a copy or a picture of the Texas flag right here, so you can use that. And draw your Texas flag. I chose to put a little flagpole, but you don't have to. Uh, it's up to you. Step number five, include four state symbols. Symbols are things that are symbolic of Texas, that Texas is known for, and you're gonna include a small illustration with each. So the symbols I chose to use were the blue bonnet, the state flower blue bonnet, I chose to use the state insect, the monarch butterfly. You're shaking the table, baby. I chose to do the state tree, which is the pecan tree. And I chose to do the state bird, which is the mockingbird. So those were my four symbols. Now I put my four symbols in all four corners. You don't have to do it that way. Um, also, because I put this in the packet and I gave you an example, you can use some symbols that I use, but I need you to come up with your own symbols as well. And the link that I put there, it has two links, and both links have pictures and names of state symbols, and there's tons of them that you can use, all right? Uh, step six, four fun facts about Texas. So there's, uh, I'm not gonna read my facts to you, but you can see I put fact number one, fact number two, fact number three, and fact number four. Uh, and I put a link here where you can go and you can look at cool Texas facts. But there's also the assignment you did last week where you answered those four questions. Those are actually facts about Texas too. Um, I will go over one. The capital of Texas is Austin. That's a fact about Texas and that's a question you answered last week. All right, step number seven. Include one Texas landmark. A landmark is something that you know is in Texas. It's either a place or a statue or a, a museum or anything like that, or amusement park that's in Texas that's very famous. So I chose the NASA Space Center and I drew a picture to represent that. There's tons of landmarks in Texas. The Alamo is one of them. That's one we've been studying for a while. So you could use the Alamo. Uh, you could even use like Six Flags over Texas. That's a landmark in Texas. Um, but there is a link here where you can look at a ton of different landmarks in Texas and you can choose the one you wanna use. So again, I did put this example where you can see it and you can read it. Please do not copy it. If we have some things the same, that's great, but we shouldn't have everything the same, right? So we might have a lot of cities that are the same because cities are cities, you know, and we might have a fact that's the same. We might have a state symbol or two that's the same, but I want you to really go and find your own as well and not copy this paper. Um, color. If you have the materials to color it, 
I want you to color it. If you don't have the materials to color it, just let me know. I'm not grading your coloring. One pagers, as you know in class, should be very nice and neat. Y'all know I make you start over if they're not nice and neat. So make sure you start out nice and neat and do what you need to do to make this look very good. You have three days to work on this, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So make sure you spend your time on those three days wisely. Break your work up into three days. How I might do it is I might do steps one through five on Tuesday, steps six and seven on Wednesday, and then I might spend time Thursday just coloring it. So that's something that I might do, but you can come up with your own schedule on how to complete this. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out and let me know. Um, use this as a checklist. So once you finish it, check it off. Um, other than that, have a great day. Bye-bye.